this is John Spiewike with Spiewike Preservation Consultants, and we're out here in Cambridge, Massachusetts at the MIT Main Group Campus working on the uh, stone treatment requirement number one, redress stone in situ for the stone treatment requirements for the specifications. We'll be training approximately eight to nine individuals today on redressing the stone in situ for training component number one. Locations designated for redress in situ are generally surface spalls at the edge of the limestone units that do not exceed one eighth of an inch in depth. We set up a demonstration area with stone to practice working with several different tools and methods to do the redress in situ prior to establishing the work on the wall surfaces. The ring test method was used using the back of a chisel to distinguish the fully intact stone from those that have delaminations that are hidden. We used carbide tip cup chisels to do the actual finishing of the stone and then completed it with washing it with a stiff brush and water. Limestone surface spalls exceeding a depth of one eighth of an inch will require a substitute stone repair material. In this video, you can see a mason using the chiseled dancing technique to remove the top layer of the surface spalls of the limestone. The training concluded with a written test, after which hard hat stickers and certificates were issued to those that completed the course.